How to create a risk management policy in under 10 minutes. Hello, I'm Stuart Barker, the ISO 27001 Ninja. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create an ISO 27001 risk management policy in under 10 minutes to satisfy the requirements of ISO 27001 2022. The easiest and the quickest way to get the uh, to do the template is to download it from the high table ISO 27001 store. So click the link uh, and it is part of the ISO 27001 toolkit, the ultimate toolkit for ISO 27001 certification. But if you want to do it for free, then you're going to get your pause game on. As we go through the video, you're going to pause it, you're going to copy it, you're going to type it, type it, type it. Um, but either way, you need to get yourself one of these management policies and this is how we're going to do it. So let's dive straight in. You're going to fire up your version of Word, you're going to put your document version control, your document markup on there, there are other videos on it, every single video is the same. Then you're going to create your contents. The contents for your risk management policy are purpose, scope, principle. What is risk management? We're going to cover off what risk appetite is. We're going to talk about low risk appetite, moderate risk appetite. We're going to look at risk identification and assessment. We're going to look at the risk register, risk reporting, risk review and risk treatment. We're going to look at risk acceptance, risk mitigation. We're going to look at risk evaluation. Then we're going to look at policy compliance that applies to every single policy that we create, uh, which is actually covered in other videos, but you're going to make sure that your policy compliance is within there. Around about 15 pages long, doable within 10 minutes, I'm sure. Let's go. Risk management policy purpose. The purpose of this policy is to set out the risk management policy for the company for information security. Scope. All employees and third party users, risk and management as applied to information security and the confidentiality, integrity and availability of organization owned, process stored and transmitted information. Principle, information security management for the company is based on appropriate and adequate risk and risk management. 27001 is a risk based management system, it fundamentally and underpinned by risk. Risk is your go to. We base our security on risk. What is risk management? If we don't know, risk can be identified as the threat or possibility that an action or event will adversely or beneficially affect an organization's ability to achieve its objectives. Risk management can be defined as the systematic application of principles and approach and a process by which the company identifies and assesses the risks attached to its activities and then plans and implements a risk response. Risk appetite. Overall, the company has a moderate risk appetite or a risk appetite appropriate to you, which means risks are mitigated in a cost effective and proportionate manner to the risk and some risk acceptance is acceptable based on business need. Low risk appetite. The company actually has a low risk appetite to the following, which means that risks will not be accepted and that we will have resources allocated to mitigate the risks in a proportionate and cost effective manner. Right. These are like no brainer risks. Right. What do we mean by that? So you can see in the policies that I create, there are sections that are in green that are either for consideration, for change, for acceptance or for deletion. So you will now see low risk appetite. Unauthorized access, use or release of personally identifiable information or sensitive data. Non-compliance with technology laws, regulations, policies or procedures. Lack of resilience against cyber security threats. Moderate risk appetite. The following most will most likely have resources allocated to mitigate risk in a proportionate and cost effective manner. Alignment of enterprise information systems, data and business practices. The ability to meet user demands and support a mobile workforce, technology, infrastructure and performance, e.g. stability, reliability, capability, capacity and duplicative systems. Business resiliency, planning and execution. Risk identification and assessment. Risk assessments are carried out at a regular interval or at least every 12 months and where there has been or likely to be a significant change. Risks are identified and assessed at least for the processing, storing or transmitting of confidential personal or cardholder information, third party suppliers that are processing, storing or transmitting confidential personal or cardholder information, new systems, significant changes. An ISO 27001 controls risk assessment is carried out at least every 12 months. We repeat that we're going to at least do an annual full 27001 risk assessment. 
Risk register. All risks are recorded in the company risk register. There's a company risk register template. You can download the template. There's going to be another video on it. I'm going to show you how to create it. Yes, it's part of the ISO 27001 toolkit, the ultimate toolkit for ISO 27001 certification, but you're going to place reliance on that risk register. Risk reporting. The risk register is reviewed at the management review team meeting. Risks are reported to the management review team. Significant risks are uh, being risks identified as requiring the attention of senior management or risks with a score over 20 or risks classified as severe are reported to the senior management team and form, form part of the company's enterprise risk management reporting. So there's a reference there to scoring that's included in the register and we'll look at that uh, in a little bit more detail in a moment. Oh, risk review. Risks are regularly reviewed and monitored at the risk at the management review team meeting to ensure that the risk action uh, progress, to ensure the risk action effectiveness, and to look at the management of residual risk. Risk treatment. All risks are assigned a risk owner. For risk acceptance, the decision to accept risks is taken by the relevant departmental manager and or senior management. The criteria for accepting risk is based on the risk is categorized as low and it is not cost effective to treat the risk. A business or commercial opportunity exists that outweighs the threat and the impact. A risk treatment does not exist. The impact of the risk occurring is acceptable to the company. Risk mitigation. Where a risk is to be mitigated, a plan of action is approved by the relevant departmental manager and or the management review team and or senior management. Responsibility for implementing and managing the plan is allocated. Risks are reported and reviewed at the management review team meeting and recorded in the risk register. Risk evaluation. The evaluation of risk impact is considered on impact to compliance and the law, reputation, customers, business goals and objectives, financial performance. So that was the risk management policy. It ends off with policy compliance covered in a number of other tutorials and videos. So you can see how you can write, how you can create an ISO 27001 risk management policy in under 10 minutes. I am Stuart Barker. I am the ISO 27001 Ninja. Grab yourself a copy of the ISO 27001 Ultimate Toolkit. But for now, peace out.